However, the new technology we'll be investing in, if approved by our county board, will ultimately be placed on the inside of the holster and will be hard mounted with screws. So we don't have to worry about that coming off. Now this weapon, I, I must tell you, I, I double checked it and I've triple checked it. There is a yellow tab hanging out of the barrel of this weapon. Uh, that indicates that the weapon is safe. Uh, that yellow tab is a plug, if you will, for lack of a better word, it's running all the way into the chamber, so there are no live bullets in this gun. I verified it three times. So I'm going to take this gun out of the holster. I don't want to alarm anybody. I'm going to aim it at the floor. I'm going to ask for a moment of silence during this because what you're going to hear the minute I take this weapon out of the holster, you're going to hear a double beep. That is my body camera turning on. Around this room, about the telephone, or over here, and around, around the room, we have four or five other body cameras. And I want you to listen carefully because every one of those is going to turn on. Why is that important? Oftentimes law enforcement officers respond with backup and, and other officers. Something I may be seeing may not be witnessed by my, my, fellow, my fellow coworkers. The minute I take, whether my taser out or my, my firearm out, is automatically turn my body camera on and anybody who is wearing this Exxon camera within Bluetooth connect, connectability, which is about 30 feet, causing their cameras to also turn on. What does that mean to you as a community and to us? It involves another layer of transparency that you're going to now see his and her and his and her perspectives, not just mine. So it really offers a whole nother level. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's just have a moment of silence, please. So you heard the camera turn on. It's now recording. Uh, right now it's recording. That one's recording. That's recording. That's recording. They're all recording offering all, of, all this perspective uh, to this entire situation if we were dealing with a situation. Now, I'm gonna be recording now, and all those are gonna be recording until I deliberately take this and turn it off. So by pressing this, now it is off. So I have to make a deliberate effort to turn my body camera off so I can be involved in a situation. It's not gonna come off until I choose to take the effort to push this button and I had to hold it for several seconds before it came off. We would have to do that to every one of those that are recording right now to get them to turn off. Same, and, same holds true for the taser. The other piece of this technology uh, that makes it really unique is that this gets mounted in every one of our squad cars. Uh, this is just a piece of um, software, if you will, actually hardware, but this will go into, into the squad car. What does this do for us in the squad car? Oftentimes when we respond to calls, um, there could be an emergency call that's happening right in front of us. The minute we turn our lights on, that will also activate this body camera. The minute we turn the lights on, our deputies are well trained. Um, they put their lives on the line each and every day, all in the spirit uh, of our safety. Uh, but at the end of the day, we have to remember that they are not robots. These are human beings and they're trying to defend themselves uh, and, and defend the community that they swore to protect. And during those, those crucial moments, during those when seconds count, Again, not to be repetitive, it is strongly unlikely that a, even the most well-trained seasoned deputy is going to remember to put a body camera on um, when in the middle of, 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 a, of a battle, for lack of a better words, trying to defend themselves and, and the community.